let's get it started in Houston. Talking about money, where Deshaun Watson just got a whole lot of money. Watson signed a four-year extension for $39 million a year, which puts him just behind Patrick Mahomes. The news made people think about the other quarterback in Texas, Dak Prescott, who will be playing under the franchise tag for just over $31 million, which is currently ninth among quarterbacks in the league. So, Acho, will Deshaun Watson's deal have any impact on Dakery? No, it won't, Marcellus, but I'm going to answer the question you mean to ask me. Oh, really? Well, yeah, that's what like I'm I wrote do. that one. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay. does, it, does it have any impact on Dak in Dallas? And the answer to that is no. Right? Now, when you think about Dak Prescott and his contract in Dallas, not Dak Prescott in general. I'm Man, you're being that. particular I'm, I'm today. To what that. you I'm mean? That's that. the same question. Hey? Yeah, uh, it's not. Okay, let's and go. And let me explain how it's not. Um, mm. Dak Prescott in Dallas, the Cowboys have already showed us. They showed the world. They showed you. If you're paying attention, there is a line in the sand. And Ooh. that line in the sand is roughly $33 million. That is what we are willing mm. to pay Dak Prescott. Sure, I don't care what y'all pay Deshaun. Ooh. I don't care what y'all pay Wentz. I don't care Ooh. what you pay Goff. Oh, I don't care what you pay Wilson. We know what Dak Prescott is worth to us in Dallas wow. at the star at Jerry World. Where? We know what Dak Prescott is worth to us. So Deshaun Watson breaking the bank. That really don't mean nothing for Dak. I Not mean, connected. Deshaun reset the market by over $4 million to Russ. Again, mm. I'll get into that more a little bit later. Shall but you? what does that mean for the Cowboys and Dak? It don't mean nothing. Let me break it down like this, Marcel. Listen. You ain't broke it down yet? Nah, You've been not talking yet, for not five yet, minutes. Not you ain't broke it down yet. yet. I got it broke, but it ain't broke down. <laughs> right. um, every summer, I, not during COVID, I go to Nigeria on a medical mission trip, and we take about 30 doctors and nurses, some That's black right. people, some white people, everybody, right? Uh. And at the end of this trip, after we're done working, we go to an open market, and we buy things. We buy different artifacts, A swap right? meet, basically? No, because it's not. <laughs> we're buying, What's like, carved, at? <laughs> carved masks. We're oh, buying okay. different artifacts, right? And I know my number. I'll go, and I'll see a painting, and I'll say, I am not paying more than X amount for that painting. Now, another one on our team, mm. an American might stroll up to that market and say, oh, I love this painting. I'll overpay for it. Just because I see them overpay, Marcellus, mm. doesn't mean that I'm now going to sit here and be like, ah, dang, they overpaid. So now I have to overpay. Mm. In the same breath, the Cowboys have a line in the sand. Just like when I'm in that market in Nigeria, I have a line in the sand. I don't care what y'all pay for mm. what you think is good I like and that. a good product. Yeah. I know what I'm going to pay for what I think is okay, good. Okay, first, let's talk about, did you steal that tie bar from me on the open market? Or did your market you talking about, <laughs> stop, thief! Or let them wear our princely garbs. Y'all catch that reference later. Two, I'm never vacationing with you because you vacation <laughs> on a budget. I am not paying this. You the dude that we ordered the margaritas. You're like, excuse me, excuse me. Come, how much? I hate that person, oh, dog. Let me just on, get my margarita, bro. dog. Let me stay in my zone. All right, here's another thing. You are absolutely incorrect Come and wrong on, about this entire situation. Unreal. And you're from the state of Texas. I am from Dallas. Maybe, maybe you can't see the forest from the trees. You're a little too close to the situation. Okay, Let me, me help you me. from the outside. This will have a huge impact on Dak Prescott for many reasons. One, based on performance in terms of if you really want to do the comps between those two players, Dak gets the, 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 the photo finish lead mm -hmm. win. To make the argument. Oh, right, over Deshaun Watson. But let's also talk about the Cowboys organization, as we talked about before, in terms of lo losing leverage in this situation. They have a problem. And it's a good problem, but they're going to have to pay for this problem. And that's Dak's contract. Don't forget the trampoline effect that happens to all of these quarterbacks. Hey, you get paid the highest just two years ago, Jimmy G, with only seven games on your resume. Everybody got to leapfrog you, and they did. Now you look at Dak Prescott, and you look at him at a $31 million franchise tag, and you're saying roughly that's what they think of Dak Prescott, and that's incorrect. James Slater already reported that they offered Dak $33 to $35 million in a five-year scenario. Oh, what is 5 times 33 or 5 times 35? 165 to 175. That's what they already offered him. You know what Deshaun just signed for? If you really want to add all the years, the two years he's playing, undervalued the next two years and then the four-year extension? <laughs> Six years, 180. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Dak already at 5, 165, 175. The you at 6, 180. Correct, Bad sir. situation. Good math, though. Let me, let me, let me, now let me get back to the basics, Okay, right? let's go. What, what I told you in the first set, I said, I'm answering the question you really want to ask. Now let me answer the question that you are, in fact, asking. Okay. Will Deshaun's deal have an impact on Dak? Yes, but not in Dallas. That is the point I'm going to make. Yes, but not in Dallas. Dak Prescott is not Ooh. going to eclipse this $39 million Ooh. marker as I look at it based Eat. on the New Year's Eat. that Deshaun get. 
But remember, you've told me this, and, and the world knows this by now. Uh, Kirk Cousins, franchise tagged in Washington. Ooh, Kirk. Franchise tagged again. Then Kirk Ooh. left Washington, yeah. went to Minnesota, and as you just spoke up, Jimmy G, Jimmy G got jumped. He got jumped by Kirk, not in Washington, mm. but with the new team in Minnesota. Mm. Dak Prescott will benefit from this mm. Deshaun Watson deal if mm. and when he leaves Dallas. He'll only benefit from it in Dallas if he wins a Super Bowl again. The Cowboys have their line in the sand. Mm. That line in the sand is likely 33 to $35 million of new money. But <laughs> that line is already drawn, Marcellus, and Jerry Jones is not moving that line based on what anybody else does except Dak Prescott winning a Super Bowl. Outside of that Super Bowl, that line is in the sand uh. and it's not moving. Ooh, Dak Prescott's going to be the last domino to fall. And last time I checked, they saved the best for last. <laughs> and that's going to be Dak Prescott. But let's bring in somebody who knows a thing or two about getting paid in the NFL. Fox NFL analyst LeVar Arrington. So, LeVar, will Deshaun Watson's deal have any impact on Dak? Yes, yes, it certainly will have an impact on, on... Listen, Dak, Dak wanted to be the same at the same numbers as, as Deshaun Watt. Are we there? Are we there? Yeah, we there. Got you. All right. yeah, okay. Spent yes. all that money, Deshaun, not on Wi-Fi. De <laughs> <laughs> Deshaun definitely wanted to be at the number, or excuse me, Dak wants to be at the numbers Deshaun are, is at right now. Here's the problem, and I think, I think, Acho, you're touching on it, and you're really, really flirting with it on, mm. on a really, really close level, but let me bring it all the way home. Okay? Do so, do so. He's a fourth-round draft pick. Y'all brought up Jimmy Garoppolo getting his money, right? Well, where did Jimmy Garoppolo start? New England. In New England, mm -hmm. right? So that goes to Acho's point. He had to go somewhere else before the value was given to him that he was seeking. Y'all brought up Kirk Cousins as, as an example, right? He had to leave Washington to go get that money, right? So I'm, I'm saying, yes, it will impact him. Undoubtedly, it will impact him because, again, you look at Deshaun Watson and what he has going on. Deshaun Watson has established himself as the undeniable face of a franchise in Houston. Deshaun Watson, Watson was also a 12th pick in the first round. The value that is given and bestowed upon high draft picks and trying to get that ROI on their investment is a tremendous, tremendous factor in making these type of decisions. Unfortunately for Dak Prescott, that 33 million, 35 range that is actually tremendously high for a fourth-round draft pick for a team. In any industry that you will find yourself in, it's difficult to justify going from looking at the value of saying, we're going to get him in the fourth round, and now we're going to make him the highest-paid player in the National Football League. His value is there. But unfortunately, that value may not come unless it goes to a different team. Oh, man. I, I, it sounds like LeVar and I agree. It sounds like you guys agree, which is interesting because you guys came to the wrong conclusion together. And it's amazing how <laughs> okay, two lost fair. people can find the same place. But you guys did it. <laughs> and it's amazing that y'all been lied to, led astray, hoodwinked, bamboozled <laughs> into thinking how Dak has to leave to get his money just because Kirk Cousins did. Let me show you guys, one, who really wins the battle when, it talk, when we're talking about who's making the money. The ATM winner, the champion there, not the champion just on the field, but the champion at the bank. Look at this full screen right now talking about Kirk Cousins and his full money. Full screen king. Full screen king time. Kirk Let's Cousins, go. of go. all the talk and stigmas of the franchise tag, and he had to leave to go get it, whatever you want to say. Mm -hmm. When the rubber meets the road, Kirk Cousins is winning the battle in terms of who gets the most for their services. Followed by five other guys who didn't have to leave at all to get their money. All Where were they drafted? This. Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, Matt Ryan, Matthew Stafford, Drew Brees. Why do I bring this up? It's not, just to, it's not just to say the obvious, which is y'all keep acting like the franchise tag is a negative thing when it's no, a positive thing. Know. And then y'all try to move the goalposts and say, okay, well, it ain't that bad because obviously this full screen kills that. But you have to leave to go get yes. your money. Now let's talk about that situation where Dak Prescott has already been offered five years, 175. Uh, well, we don't know the details. Okay, I, look, he's been offered thirty-three million. They fair. both agree. I give that's you that five one. years, one sixty-five. Give you that. One. Five years, one sixty-five. Fair, fair, Deshaun fair. Deshaun just signed for six years, one seventy-five. Acho, if Fox came to you with both of those deals, which one you taking?
That's my point. That can't lose. It depends lose. on what's guaranteed, Marcellus. Uh, the guarantees were the same, 110. Hey, brother, I'll do my homework. Well, the guarantees were the same, 110. So here's the thing. Dak is sitting there with a hypothetical floor that is already Deshaun Watson's ceiling. Oh. His floor is his ceiling. I don't understand That's the argument. Deceptive. All I hear is y'all projecting that That's he has deceptive. to leave. When Jerry said he's not leaving, he's our franchise quarterback for the future, and Dak is saying the same okay, thing. Okay, first, first and foremost, Jerry done lied before. So you're not going to use Jerry's testament and testimony as a, as a standard of He ain't lied to me. He said, Marcellus, you got to go. And I left. <laughs> <Wasn't it done? laughs> he ain't lied to me. <laughs> he told the real on me. What you mean? I was sorry. The, the point I'm going to make is <laughs> what? What, what, what you've established early on is the disconnect for us is simply this. You think that because hmm? Matt Prescott has accomplished a lot, Jerry Jones will continue to overcommit or move his mark. Jerry will not overcommit, nor will he move his mark. Jerry is giving Dak 33 to 35. Again, Dak's contract situation and Deshaun's situation are different.